Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Range Rover 4.4 SD V8 Vogue SE Automatic. It's four wheel drive, 2015 or 15 plate. Absolutely beautiful condition. Has done 49,959 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 24.6 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 37.2 miles per gallon. And combined is 32.5 miles per gallon. Has a nought to 60 time of 6.5 seconds. A top speed of 135 miles per hour. Out of a 334 brake horsepower, 32 valve V8 engine. Beautiful car, best driving car on the road in my opinion, certainly for the money. Money we're asking for this, you're not going to get anything better. Um, beautiful colour combination. Black, black roof, it's got the full glass panoramic electric tilt and slide roof, rear privacy glass, the body coloured black flash up the side, the vents, silver stripe, multi-spoke, kind of horseshoe alloys, scorpion tyres, scorpion verdes, all round, all in good condition too. Keyless entry, keyless go, you get out of the car, you've got the keys on you, just Um, those aren't the keys, Baz. So, as you can see, you can't lock yourself out, eat, no matter how stupid you are. So, as long as you've got the keys on you, when you get out of the car and you've not left them inside, then you press the little button, doors lock, door mirrors fold in, you come back to the car, again, as long as you've got the key on you, put your hand behind the door handle, and that's it, you can get in. Now, the other thing you can do, if you don't like keyless entry, um, people with signal snatchers these days, you leave that on your table as you walk in through the door, they have a signal snatcher, they can take the feed from the remote, transmit it to somebody else who stood next to your car, get in it and drive off. So the way you, the way you do knock it off is there's a light button there. You open the door, you've got three seconds, click the light button three times and then click the unlock so in one two three unlock and now you can see it won't lock from it won't keyless lock you can lock it with the key you come back to the car and it won't unlock either so that's the the keyless entry keyless um, lock disabled nobody can snatch the signal they have to make a noise when they get in the car everybody do that Range Rovers won't get stolen as much your insurance premiums will come down Range Rover prices will go up everybody will be driving a Range Rover so take it from me so there we go I'll just I'll just show you again to disable that so we open the door open the door Click the light button three times, one, two, three, then lock. Come out. There you go. Keyless lock enabled. So always do that. I've got a steering lock for mine as well. It only takes two seconds to put on. But that two seconds is a red flashing light on the, the dash. Somebody comes to your car, they're not going to try and get in through the window or through the lock, pick the lock, whatever they want to do, and then remove the crook lock. It, it's, you know, it's a no-brainer. They'll go on to something else. Uh, they'll perhaps go and steal a BMW and then be sorry they ever nicked it. But <laughs> there you go. Right, okay, what else? What else have we got? 
got the silver Range Rover badge, silver grill too, the silver vents, the silver again flash along the bottom matches the door handles and so on. It, it, this car's a beast, 4.4 engine, go, go anywhere, pull anything uh, and get you there in style and comfort. So, if you open the vehicle with the button here, just the top will flip up, the, the top part. So, uh, two, the, the tailgate's in two halves, the lower half here, top half, you're just coming back to your car with parcels, you press that, opens up. If you come back to your car and you want to get in it, you want to sit down, you want to load your dog in it, then the boot release there, and both of them go down, as you can see. So again, Land Rover, so well built, so good. The, uh, I always gone on about Volvo owners, Volvo buyers, Volvo customers, anybody who comes to see a Volvo, always nice people. And I'd say the same is true of Range Rover Vogue owners. We've bought this, John's gone to pick it up, uh, gone a fair distance to pick it up. We, you know, we, we just try to buy nice cars, very selective in what we buy. Got to have good service history, be in good condition. Just the right car, right colour combination. In these, in this day and age, it's, it, you, everything has to be right. In order for you to sell a car, there's so many things out on the market there. There's so many also around, so many dealers buying from auctions and... Anyway, we, we saw this and we wanted to buy it. We did. John went to <laughs> John went on the train to pick it up. The owner has put in the fridge in the armrest, two bottles of water and a double decker for John to eat on the way back. You know Spitfire pilots. <laughs> that, that's that's what the the main Range Rover Vogue SE customer I would say is a Spitfire pilot. That's how my brain works. That's that's what I would imagine. Proper gentleman, nice person, loves Great Britain, and uh, just just all round nice people. So there you go. You can sit on the back here. It's got a hard rear load cover there. Also in the SE, I can if I do that. That's pulling the seats down from here in the back. It just got it, got absolutely everything. That's the second one. That's all the way down. Anyway, with that. Got the reversing sensors here, also reversing camera, rear wash wipe is tucked up underneath there. So, great vehicle to be a passenger in. These seats are pretty much like new, not being cleaned yet, just as we picked it up off the customer. Um, when Lance is finished with it, it'll uh, be like a new pin. It's got Meridian sound system in it, so if you like music, it's, it's just a fantastic place to be. The glass, electric tilt slide, panoramic roof, You've got a shade band over it. If it gets too hot, just electric shade band. And as you can see here, I've, I've got bags of room. The passenger seat there, you'll be able to see there, I'll, I can move that forward and, and backwards from this switch here when it's, uh, when it's turned on. We've got this rear center armrest. And just, just like being at home in your armchair, this beautiful ivory perforated leather um, heated and cool seats in the front. You've got heated seats here as well in the back and also your, your fresh air vents, heat vents, two power sockets, 
It's got a carpet over mat. Lovely, lovely vehicle. Oh, and old, I mean, also as well here. There you go. I can move the backrest. So uh, get nice and comfortable in, in here if you're going on a, a long journey. Beautiful car. Okay, I'll just take you for riding it. So that's a Range Rover key, so long as you've got it on your person. And put your foot on the brake, vehicle will start, like so. Uh, service history, 30th of the 8th, 2016, at 3,069 miles, Marshalls Land Rover. 30th of the 8th, 2017, at 5,851 miles, Marshalls Land Rover. 17th of the 7th, 2018, 10,023 miles, Marshalls Land Rover. 16th of the 7th, 2019, at 14,863 miles, Marshalls Land Rover. 23rd of the 7th, 2020, at 18,592 miles, Marshalls Land Rover. 7th of the 7th, 2021, at 21,970 miles, Marshalls Land Rover. 5th of the 7th, 2022, at 32,154 miles, Range Rover, Land Rover, Glasgow. 22nd of the 6th, 2023, at 42,590 miles, Range Rover, Land Rover, Glasgow. We'll do it again, and we'll also MOT it. So, here we go. Well, be before I do that, I've changed the, the driver's seat. I'll, I'll change it properly in a second, but memory seat, Russian roulette, second position, so that's not set at all. Third position. Oh, there we go. So third position. You'd have to be pretty tiny to be comfortable there. So, massive car, dead easy to drive. I'll just put it back here before we set off. So there you go, that's the three position electric memory seats. You've got height and reach adjustable electrically. Steering wheel two, we'll just get the door mirrors, the door handles, like so. And then that's all good. Then I just press memory one, and wherever it goes from there on, you get back in, press memory one, like so. And we go back to exactly where we were before. So that's, that's a great option, really. Um, another great option, heated steering wheel and heated front windscreen too. So, uh, oh, and we've also got, if I click that, that's your heated seat, so I can hit switch heated seats on but then what I can also do the the blue arrow I can go down so that's only on one position the first position for heated seats but it's also got cool seats as well so in the in the summer when it's warm outside cool air blows through the perforations the Tetley tea bag men say through the little perforations uh, and keep your back cool you can also set seat zone so that's just on your back that's just on your bottom or both of them back and bum. I'm going to put that on back on position one. There we go. And then we can set off. Magnificent V8 4.4 engine. Magnificent. Ticking over. Let him go past. <laughs> I don't know. What can you do, eh? So away we go. Slightly bigger, or it feels certainly feels slightly bigger steering wheel than a sport. Longer wheelbase, heavier car. Just beautiful to drive. Not a particularly nice road. Range Rover smooths it out. Car lowers when you get out. Let's just go to menu, click menu, driving features, driving features, show warnings, forward alert, high beam assist, gearbox paddles, 
So we'll go back there. We'll go vehicle setup. We'll try there. Okay, vehicle setup. Alarm sensors, reverse dip mirror, two stage unlocking, audible lock warning, window global open, window global close, winter wiper mode, drive away locking, headlamp display. There's those. But just there, the button for access height. So press that. Lowers down, get out. The Meridian sound system is tremendous, and uh, all the manufacturers spend a lot of money soundproofing the cars. So, in some instances, you find it's better off listening to your music, you hear things that you would never hear before um, in your car as opposed to at home. And uh, there we go. We've front centre armrest, it's got the fridge in the middle and of course in the fridge there is still, uh, John's doing very well, John's on a diet, um, I'll probably eat it in a minute but there's a double decker from the previous owner, I mean it just, just goes to show you how nice and thoughtful the, uh, the person was, great service history, got cruise control here, it's also distronic or adaptive or whatever you want to call it but basically it keeps you the same distance from the car in front so if I set it here so that's set one touch is set and I can it shows you on the dash bars between you and the front and, and the car in front um, if I just do that click that that keeps me a long way from the car in front and if I close it down it will allow me to close up on the car and, and not be uh, you know, not leave such a massive distance in between. You've got your global lock in here, your memory seats, electric windows, You've got power folding door mirrors. If you touch the left and right buttons, they both fold in. Menu over here, mode, voice activation, telephone. So the, t the steering wheel is nice and toasty now. Um, it's such a good, it's such a good option that in the winter. It soon warms your hands up. I go playing pool with a, a friend of mine, and uh, we got there the other night, and it was it was blooming bitter out. It was absolutely bitter. My hands were nice and warm. His was freezing, and uh, he could he could hardly make a bridge. His hands were that cold. So I, I won the first game anyway. So <laughs> Range Rover drivers, it's the little things. It just, it, you just need a tiny edge to be better than somebody else. Which reminds me of my favorite joke. Two explorers halfway across a clearing in the jungle and the lion comes out, and one, one of the explorers, ever so slowly, reaches round, takes his rucksack off, kneels down, gets a pair of Nike trainers out, or Reeboks, or Adidas, whoever you want to advertise for, starts putting his trainers on, and, and the bloke next to him said, you'll never outrun a lion, and he says, I don't have to, I just have to outrun you. Heated steering wheel. You'll see my, my logic is, uh, is it butterfly logic? You just have to be that better and Range Rovers are just that bit better. Well, they're actually, they're, they're a lot better on everything, not just a bit better. That would be, that would be being too modest. Uh, fantastic, this is Tom 3D there in pulling a big trailer in his Range Rover got this just put that there like so this piano black inset on the gear tunnel here the door cards the handles and then you've got aluminium aluminium fittings the steering wheel here but the oh. 
I need that on one because it's way too warm. Got a climate set at 20 degrees. You've got the big front central armrest. You've got this armrest which you can. Oh, there we go. We can wind down. That's never been used in its life. So there you go. That's level with that. But uh, I don't need that. I more need the space to put my seatbelt on. We're just trundling along. Nearly 40 miles an hour, a thousand revs. I'll just hit the loud pedal in a second when we go onto the motorway and flip it down a little bit. And just listen, listen and smile. So here we go, there's a Volvo there. I'm sure that's a police car, that Volvo, but anyway. So we'll just flip it down a, a little bit. What a soundtrack. Doesn't get any better. It'll go back into drive in a second. I'm in eighth gear now. Drive eighth. Buzzard, by the look of it. sat nav again really really easy sat nav there you go dead easy to enter destination entry up there put the postcode in that's it can also knock this over to sport if i click on sport it's immediately change down and the throttle the accelerator is a lot more responsive See the cops up there on the left parked up. Then we've got the sunroof. So tilt and slide sunroof. Just going to uh, let's just have a look. So that's tilt. That's slide back, you can hear all the buffeting. But the aircon's brilliant anyway, so it's not like you need it. We'll put it back again. Closing up. There you go. That's shut. And then We've got the shade band coming forward. And this lovely leather. But it's, they're just so easy to drive. All our, uh, all our Range Rover videos get more views. I had a chat ring up yesterday um, you, know, you can no longer drive, he's got a Range Rover, would like us to buy it, and we'd love to buy it. It's a nice one, proper service history. And, uh, you know, lo lots of comments, which are great. The more comments we get, the more interaction we get, the more the videos are suggested, the more it helps the garage and me because advertising these days is so expensive and YouTube's free. So, instead of giving it the money to people with their own agendas, it would seem these days, we can, uh, we can keep it in house. Then we don't have to sell as many cars, we can do better deals, not being busy fools, can't beat it. Back seats, uh, when, when, uh, when I was videoing this before, I just got round to the back, I was miles away from anybody else on the car park, just got round to the back and a chap came and parked virtually right next to me, right where I was going to be videoing from. So I waited for a bit. I started videoing again. As soon as he moved, 
I started talking to the camera again, I moved round and then I noticed the battery had gone on my camera. <laughs> so I had to shoot it again, so I'm surprised I'm still smiling. <laughs> but what I did try to do, I don't know whether I got it actually, was show you the back seats. You can fold the back seats down from it inside the tailgate, from right at the back. There's, there's four switches, two to put the 60-40 seats down, all flat, and the other two to put them back up again if you want. But if you go somewhere to load up, you don't have to come around the front, put the seat squab up, then fold the top down, put your seat forward first before you can do anything, because that does it all automatically. And th this one here, hang on, this one here, you see there, if you're sat in the back and you want a little bit more room, perhaps there's no passenger in the front, you can just press that button and it puts the seat forward. Like uh, being chauffeured mode. So quiet. And this, this is just as it's coming off the customer. I think it's had a wash and that was only because John drove it back a couple of hundred miles. So um, when Lance gets hold of this and he does his three stage buff, as he likes to tell us, it'll be like glass. Looks good now, but when he's finished it, it will. He, he's just done our green sport, which I'll try and video tomorrow as well. And it just looks beautiful. It looked good before, but you know, after a few years, they, they get covered in these little micro scratches and the more light can deflect off a panel, goes into a scratch and then goes off, doesn't come straight back at you. The more it can deflect, the matter it looks. Well, uh, when Lance has done it and polished it, then they, they are absolutely gleaming. We've got sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, nice and easy to set the, the phone, easy to delete as well. Um, everything about Range Rover is you can virtually do everything w with your gloves on as if you're a farmer on a freezing cold day and then you've still got your heated steering wheel, that, that's, that's beautiful. Over here, you see there, you've just got little cubby holes to put in and that's, that's like, you know, it's like a cabinet maker's made it. Um, they, they're just they're just so good. Everything about them, everything, you know, the the, the metal. It, it doesn't look like cheap plastic. With uh, like in Mercedes, the amount of times I've cut my hands on the seat handle, where the it's plastic covered in this chrome stuff, and the the chrome stuff started coming off. But it's like a razor blade. You know, there's 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 no better place to be sat than in the well, there is, the, the, sat in the passenger seat's equally nice. But the driver's side in a Range Rover just doesn't get any better. It's the nicest, most luxurious car. Easy to drive for the size, dead easy to park. Front and rear parking sensors, reversing camera. We'll let him go. Ah, dear me. Four point four. Pretty economical too. I think John averaged uh, 29 miles to the gallon coming home, and uh, let, let's say he was doing 70. And I was doing some calculations the other day about, well, some some guy was saying that you could get a Range Rover cheap. Talk talk about, you know, EVs depreciating. You can now get a 4.4 Range Rover for like whatever. And uh, when I worked it out. It was basically cheaper to buy this Range Rover he was on about than 
a Renault Zoe. So you, so you could actually buy the, the Range Rover, pay for all your fuel and insurance, and still be no worse off than buying a Renault Zoe, and still have 13 grand left. <laughs> the Renault Zoe, 30, 33,000 or something. So, I mean, I know which I'd rather have. I do. I know which I'd rather have. What else is there? Is there anything else? So we've got lumbar support or with it being the SC as well the seat squab will actually if I do that look the seat squab is moving out but uh, I don't want to drop nah, that, that's okay for me lumbar support even if you watch the headrest you should be able to see the headrest going up or from the electric seats just superb Ah oh, well, there you go. I'll just actually put that back. You'll see me hair goes a lot greyer on the camera when there's light above. But who cares? We're nearly back at the garage. We've got oh, we've got some lovely cars coming in next week. Really, really lovely. I am um, another Another Vogue, a couple of Evokes, one, a blue Evoke with uh, blue and cream seats that look fantastic. Video of the green sport tomorrow. Just, uh, just all nice cars. We're, we're just managing to get through some of the others. It, it, it was very difficult to buy. Range Rovers, and uh, who on earth is parked there? All right. Anyway, that's it. That's my video for today. My bit of pleasure driving round in a 4.4 V8 Vogue. Reversing camera there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.